music. And we'll be riding with the Los Angeles street racers. We'll see how they manage to skirt the law and the police while exercising their horsepower. And you'll meet a woman who's hair raising. watching is not legal. This is street racing, where an entire race takes about 11 seconds. That's 11 seconds for a quarter mile, from a dead stop up to 125 miles per hour. I love watching that guy get beat by a four-cylinder. I enjoy about street racing. The two competitions, A, the race itself, B, the competition of not getting caught. It's so much fun to get away with it. This is Dan, the California wild man. His red pinno doesn't win many races, but he's been a street racer for years. The majority of people who race and are involved in street racing uh, are people like me. They're working people. They uh, invest their spare time and extra money. Many people realize that it's an outlet. Uh, to a lot of people, it is an outlet of their aggressions, of their, their pent-up uh, hostilities and an emotional outlet for them. To me, it's, it's, it's a sport. It's a game. It's an addiction. It really is. It's like uh, any other addiction, like caffeine or nicotine. Uh, there's, there's a certain feeling you get out of going very fast that uh, can't be replaced by anything else. Fast Bud has never lost a race for money, thanks to the work he's put into his 1970 Corvette. They street race because the drag strips now aren't fun for the small guys. You go to, a, like, Orange County, and you may it cost you 25 bucks to get in. You may wait two or three hours before you can actually make a pass down the drag strip, and uh, then it's time to race. If you lose in the first round, that's it for the day. Then you've got to drive all the way back home. Guy street race because it's fun, it's against the law, which is a little exciting. It's a chance to, to show off your stuff and make a few dollars. But this is against the law, and showing off your stuff can attract attention. To me like he was driving on the wrong side of the road. I was trying to go around that guy who was stopped in the road. <clears throat> your registration on your car, please. Uh oh, you might take Car on fire, you want the fire department? No, that dude was burning out right there. I was just trying to get out of his way. He was how did all the smoke get in your car? Because I was right next to him. I I stopped because he started burning out and I didn't want him to hit me. There are a variety of dangers and hazards involving street racing. One of the most significant for us in law enforcement is the innocent individual who becomes injured or killed as a result of drag racing accidents. LAPD Sergeant Dennis Zine. We have individuals going out with modified cars running on nitro fuel, professional racing cars that are being trailered in that are racing on the thoroughfares. This is a hazard to everyone in addition to the nuisance to the, to the residents in those areas. That's the biggest problem, the biggest concern we have, in addition to the fatals. 15 fatalities in less than a year within just the San Fernando Valley. This ranges from the street racers within the valley on to the road racers up on Mulholland Drive. Most of the people feel safer going to a drag strip, but under the conditions today, there isn't as many open strips as there were back in 1965, you know, 67, and through the 70s. Lyle Spindler was the voice of Southland drag strips for many years. Today, he spends his spare time restoring the cars that started street racing. Everybody has a little bit of that, I'd like to go a little faster. Expect, you know, when you're a kid that comes out, it's dad push, hit passing gear, go faster, do this, do that. Well, that stays with a kid for years. And consequently, when he gets older and he wants to express himself, he can't. 
And if he does, he gets a ticket for it. Just watching these races, a $150 ticket. Every time we race down at Winchell's in Nabisco, we're always told this by the sheriffs to pull in. They'll make you pop your hoods, they'll check out for smog. They can be real if they want to. They could be, they could be busting burglars or something right now. They're busting kids for racing and it's not hurting nothing. That's, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> We have to respond to it. It's something we cannot ignore. But we would rather them not race, them race at a location that's uh, modified for racing, such as a, a, a drag strip, whatever the case may be. And then we could develop and devote more time to those more important activities of arresting the bad guys, arresting burglars, arresting robbers, protecting people. Your smog devices are disconnected. It appears to me that you got about two and a quarter inch clearance there, yes, and you got about four and three quarter inch clearance. A noted street. I didn't know it was a street. This is the first time I've ever been up to Van Nuys. Okay, just, you want to tell that to the judge, okay? I'm telling you what the law is. You now know. This is America. This is America. This is hell. the races go on. But street racers say all they really want is a strip of their own. I can't understand why the city or our state doesn't get together and open a couple of them. The, the benefits from it would be incredible. Uh, also, they cut down on the risk of accidents on the street, people getting killed, pulling out of intersections with kids racing, uh, people getting knocked down, stepping in the street just because of a kid racing. Get them where it's organized and keep them off the street, and I think everybody will benefit neighborhood-wise and state-wise. We agree. The racers should have a location. We have attempted in the past to try and develop some areas. We attempted at one time for the Sepulveda Basin. There's such a large group of individuals that don't want any development in the Sepulveda Basin, especially drag strip. So our efforts are kind of tied. Councilman Hal Bernson, on the other hand, is attempting to establish something within the valley, something maybe in Whitman Airport, something like that effect that could be utilized for drag racing on weekend evenings. We hope that would alleviate the problem for us. But at the present time, our concern is to try and maintain public order and public safety for the residents of the valley. The thrill. The, the competition, the sport of it, you'll find it's true with most of us. You know, we enjoy going fast.